Let's spend some time now multiplying polynomials. Specifically, let's focus on multiplying a monomial times a monomial first. Then we'll take a monomial times a polynomial, first a binomial, and then we'll make that more terms. In review, though, I'd like to remind you that x to the second times x to the third is x to the fifth. That's because x to the second is this, x to the third is those three x's, and when I put that back into shorthand form, I have to write that as x to the fifth power. So please remember that when you multiply, if the bases are alike, you add their exponents. So, if I wanted to take two monomials and multiply them together, because um, the commutative property of multiplication says you can multiply in any order that you'd like, this reads 2 times x and 7 times x. What you would think here is that the 2 times the 7 can be multiplied together, and that gives you 14. Uh, again, any order. I'm choosing to multiply those two. And then the x times the x is x to the second power. So the solution for this, when multiplying those two monomials together, is 14x squared. I wouldn't expect you to have to write that down from now on. I would expect that you would say 2x times 7x is 14x squared, because you're adding those exponents. So if I asked you to take a negative 3x times 5x, the negative 3 times 5 is a negative 15, and x times x is x to the second power. Um, let's take a look at this one. 5x times a negative x, please recognize that as a negative 1x. And 5 times a negative 1 is a negative 5, and that x times x is x to the second power. Let's do one last one in terms of a monomial times a monomial. So if I have 3x squared times 8x cubed, the coefficients of those two monomials multiply together to be 24. Eight, 3 times 8 is 24 x to the second times x to the third is x to the fifth because I add those exponents when I multiply. Let's now multiply a monomial times a binomial and then times a trinomial. Now that we've got that down. So if I were to ask you to take 2x times 3x plus 5, I'm asking you to distribute the 2x times the two terms in the parentheses. So I'm asking you to take 2x times 3x and get 6x squared. I'm going to write down an intermediate step. I personally never take this step. It's too much work for me. 2x times 3x. There's a plus sign here. Then I would take the 2x times the 5, which would give me 10x. So finally, 6 x squared would be my first term, and 2x times 5 is a 10x would be my second term. And I'm all done. Don't try to collect these. They're not like terms. This has a degree of 2. This one has a degree of 1. The only way you could collect this is if this might have been an x squared term, or if this might have been just 6x, not a 6x squared. Leave that alone. I'm all done. From now on, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times 5 is 10x. Don't write down any other steps. Next problem. Let's take 4x times 5x squared minus 7x plus 1. So it's a monomial times a trinomial. And so you just take that monomial and multiply it times each term. I like to use these arrows to make sure I don't forget anything. So the 4 times the 5 is a 20. This is an x to the first x to the first times x to the second is x to the third because you add those exponents. I've got a minus sign here. 4 times a minus 7 is a minus 28. x times x is x squared. So I've taken care of that, just distributing the 4x times the minus 7x. And finally, 4x times 1 is just 4x. I'm done. I've multiplied the monomial times the trinomial. There are no like terms. Don't try to collect them. Leave it as is.